I want to say thank you to the people who bought training. I want to say thank you to the people who are about to buy training and a shout out to the nerd tribe. In this video, we're going to discuss why you need to make your first hundred dollars before you make your first hundred thousand. I had this person who was consistently reaching out to me for mentoring. And let me go ahead and explain something. I don't do mentoring because mentoring is usually done for free. I do training. I do coaching. If you want me to talk to you or to walk through some concepts with you, I am not going to email you or get on the phone and just talk to you. And I'm going to explain to you why. Years ago, I gave 19 free business courses away. I put them out there for everyone and a lot of people signed up and 95% of the people who signed up for those free business courses did not open up one. I understand that if I was to engage you into email conversations or to get on phone with you and talk to you for free, you're wasting your time because you're not going to do anything with the information because you have no investment and you're wasting my time. So this person kept pestering me and pestering me and pestering me and I went ahead and started to communicate with this individual. Number one, he had no money. Number two, he was looking for what I call the grand come up. He wanted something that can make him $100,000 within three to four months with little to no investment. Okay, here's how it usually goes. And I'm gonna to explain to you my pathway. When I was in the storage auction business, the first six months were kind of rocky. And I didn't know how to buy storage units. It was completely brand new to me. And the first six months, I learned how to buy storage units. And the first six months, we really weren't making a lot of money because I was buying junk. So after the six months, and I learned the concept to buy big full units because your ROI, return on investment is substantially greater. Give you an example. Someone could buy a unit 10 by 10, which is a small unit, which is half the size of a 10 by 20 or one third the size of a 10 by 30. And you're gonna get half the stuff or one third of the stuff. And frequently these units were not completely stuffed or crammed with inventory. And I've noticed proportionally that people paid more money for these smaller units because they can move these units. And this is something else we'll talk about in the future about increasing capacity. But once I stretched myself and bought these big full units in the beginning, I had to rent U-Hauls and Penske and Ryder trucks to move this stuff because these units were full three four bedroom sets three four bedroom sets washer dryer living room set dining room set dinette set all types of stuff and when i started buying these units i realized that this is where the money was and before we made our first hundred thousand dollars in the storage auction business we made our first hundred mathematically you cannot make your first hundred thousand before you make your first hundred dollars and I, I i literally talked to this guy and he did not want to hear about taking the time to build he didn't want to hear about establishing himself as a brand i actually had a brand it was called the upscale garage sale that was the brand of the storage auction business he didn't want to hear about the due diligence he didn't want to hear about the hard work that was involved he didn't want to hear any of that he didn't want to hear none of that and the, guys here's the thing you've got to crawl before you walk. You gotta crawl before you walk. You gotta walk before you run. And what I see is everyone is looking, for, you know, I, I was having a conversation with someone and one of the things is once I hear that someone wants to come online, make a lot of money really quickly and really, really quickly is weeks or months with no investment of money or investment of time, I typically kind of remove myself from the conversation. I stopped talking about it and I kind of get away from these people because here's the, the God's honest, the truth. Even though I had business experience, when I came on the YouTube, it still took me not one, not two, but three years to make a million dollars. And 
Yes, when the average millionaire is 60 years old, and I was 42, I was 40, I was 42. That was blazing quick to make a million dollars in three years. That was blazing quick to make a million dollars organically from scratch. And here's the thing, I invested maybe 2,500 bucks with 500 of that going from my website hosting and domain, maybe for about two years. So my investment wasn't substantial, and but my investment in time, my investment in pure capital was not substantial, but my investment in time was massive. Let me explain to you what you had to do back in the day to upload a YouTube video. Early, early YouTube, you can only upload a 15 minute long video. That was the max length of video you can upload. And because I was all, really, all this was new to me, I had a Toshiba satellite laptop and I would use it to process these videos. And the video files that they processed were too big for me to upload. So I had to get this tool called Handbrake to reduce the size of the video and then upload it. It would take me eight, to 10 hours to create, to edit, the process, and upload one video, one video. That was the workflow for one video because number one, I didn't have the proper tools because back then I noticed that the better creators had Macs. So when on Craigslist, I got a Mac used from a guy, changed my life, changed my life because the Mac came with iMovie and iMovie was a way for me to process videos very quickly. I mean, you know, I went from it taking me eight hours, eight to 10 hours to do one video where I could literally shoot a video, edit a video, process a video and upload the video in one hour. And that's when you started to see me produce two and three videos a day. Now, what I'm, why, why am I including that in this conversation? Me committing a massive level of time to my YouTube business, which at the time, at, back in the day, it was called Conundrum Publishing. And that was my publishing company for my books. I invested a massive amount of time. At that time, I was doing five or six videos a week. In the beginning, eight to 10 hours, I was spending about 60 hours a week producing six videos. And I had to do that. I had to do my due diligence. I had to learn how to produce videos. I had to learn, like to this day, I am not a fan of editing videos. So what I do going forward, and once again, this was me making my first hundred. I taught myself how to shoot a video that didn't need editing. This is where I had these very long videos because one of the things that I had to teach myself was not to go mm, or, ah and pause and have these pregnant pauses and I had to keep speaking. I had to teach myself and this took some time. So I got to the point where I didn't have to edit the videos. And right now, this is video because I hired a company to edit videos because to properly edit a video could take hours and I am running not one not two not three but four channels there's no way that I could edit all that content produce edit uh, I don't I don't edit my videos I don't create the majority of my thumbnails and going forward I'm hiring people I'm bringing people on board I'm creating a team to help me produce this media company. But here's the thing, guys. You're never gonna make $100,000 with little to no investment ridiculously quick, which is in a matter of weeks or a few months without a large investment of capital. It's just not gonna happen. And there are so many entrepreneurs who see the hustle porn that they believe like, and literally, one of the things I do is I track hustle, porn, YouTubers, Instagrammers, and TikToks. And I've noticed that all of them at some point, they run out of content, they run out of ideas. And I'm gonna tell you why. They got into whatever they got into very quickly and they, they can't go deep. Here's the thing, and here's the difference between me and all of these other content creators. I can go extremely deep 
about sales. I could go extremely deep about marketing. I can go extremely deep about branding. I could go extremely deep about corporate structure because I have years of experience in all of those elements. I have years of experience, years of experience. I can go deep about video production. And I'm about to let you guys know a secret. If I wanted my YouTube channels to blow up, once again, the majority of the people watching this channel are black, I would have to market to black people with BS. O'Shea Duke, Ch o O'Shea Duke Jackson tried for years to put out solid, relevant content. And then when he came up with the community, the celebrity junk took off because black folks want to be entertained versus being educated. And this is one of the things because like this is why, you know, I know that my videos are not going to explode or hit the algorithm a certain way because I'm talking about real things, the proper way to do business, the proper way to scale your business, the proper way to market your business. And people are looking for hacks and shortcuts. If I was to create a YouTube channel talking about how to make your CPN valid, I would get views. If I was talking about age corporations, I would get views. I would get like crazy views because that's where a lot of people in the black community are. But once again, to start your business, you're going to literally have to make first $100. And this is something that used to be kind of normal. You know, you would walk into a store or a pharmacy and you would see a dollar bill framed up on the wall. You know what that meant? That was the first dollar that that business ever made. That was the first dollar. They were paying homage to that first dollar because that first dollar started the process. That's what started the whole process. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, business is a systematic journey. Now, I'm about to say something that may make me sound like I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth. Can you get rich quick? Yes, you can. But where do we get a little lost? Quick to you is a matter of weeks or months. Quick to me is a few years. To literally start from zero in three years and become a millionaire is amazingly quick. It's blazing fast. It's extremely fast. And one of the things that I consistently see with people is that everyone wants to get rich quick. Everyone wants to make money. Everyone wants to get to that place of comfort. Right now, my life is full of comfort. True story, I'll tell you a story. You know the first home cooked meal I had here was Christmas day, 2022. I eat out every day. That, cause you know, I like it. And my uh, girlfriend, she cooked Christmas dinner. It was slamming. I was like, I have pots. That was the first time these pots were used because I order out all of the time because that's part of me making my life luxurious. I don't want to cook. I don't have to cook. I order whatever I want to eat. I order steak. I order cupcakes. I order Asian food. I order whatever I want, whatever I'm hungry for. So one of the things that you guys have got to understand to get to this life of comfort to get to this life of ease, to get to this level. It takes time, it takes time. And one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to acknowledge is you can get rich quick. You can get rich very, very fast. However, we're talking years instead of decades. So if you could get rich in three to five years, that's amazingly quick. That's amazingly quick. And that's why we're having this conversation. And we're going to have more conversations like this. And I'm going to have some new training at B School for Hustlers in 2023. Because, you know, I took some time to sit back and to evaluate and look at my content and look at because once again, I'm competing with people who are literally telling you that in a matter of a few weeks or 
three months that you could be making 10, 15, $20,000 per month. And I'm about to say something. If there is a vehicle that enables you to make 10 or 15 or $20,000 per month that you're seeing marketed on YouTube, this is what's going to happen. You're going to get into it and you're going to literally see your money drop you will start off making that money and it's going to drop. You want to know why? Because this concept, this ideal, this business model is being marketed on YouTube and it's only a matter of time before it gets saturated. So just a matter of time before it is slam chock full of people out there who are doing whatever they need to do to get into this field like Airbnb, Shelby Church, a YouTuber made a video talking about her Airbnb lost money. Kudos to Shelby for talking about that because literally everyone doing Airbnb content makes it sound like you can't lose money. It's like it's a sure thing. She put out there that her Airbnb is losing money and it's just the beginning. I'm here in Atlanta and on my main YouTube channel, I put up what I call the failed Airbnb. I see all of these furnished properties that they want an exaggerated rent because it's furnished because they've got bills they got that mortgage to pay they got that and this is one of the craziest things that people were getting hard money loans for airbnb properties that's stupid hard money loans are 10 10 12 15 percent interest and they're very short-term loans so they're going to have to finance out of that hard money and finance into a traditional mortgage but hey we're going to have a lot more conversations like this we're going to have some more training so stay tuned be on the lookout